I'm ready. This is, of course, episode three of The Wolf Among Us, or The Bear Among Us, if you happen to be watching on youtube.com slash bear taffy. I am going to jump right into this, but I have to give forewarning if you're joining us fresh on the Bear Taffy live show, if this may be your first time here, I've got to give you a fair warning as well. This episode of this game just was released today. This is, of course, episodic content for the game ongoing, and this is brand spanking new, so it's very likely that you haven't seen this yet. If you've played any of this game, or even up to this point of this game, I'm gonna have to ask you kindly to leave, <laughs> because I uh, I share the I share the notion that this does not deserve to be spoiled. I'm playing it here for the sake of it being just so perfect for our final pre-pack stream, and I, I realize I'm being a huge scumbag in doing so, but, oh man, I've, I've got to try this out, man, and I thought this was the perfect venue for it, so away we go. Thank you guys again for being here. This is The Bear Among Us. It's time to jump right into episode three, which I'm sure will recap quite a bit of what's been going down, and of course, if you're just joining us here for the first time playing The Wolf Among Us, I do like to stay quiet for the majority of the narrative parts, so you have to forgive me for that, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and start off episode three, A Crooked Mile. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Thank you, Traxie. I, I can't I tell you. you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Of shit. That motherfucking piece of shit. That's even Crane? better. Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, Crane's the killer. other than the Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been Ugh. Whoa! Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I'm pretty Crane sure it's not going to be fine. Snow White. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! Oh god. That's gonna be so inappropriate for this. What? Oh, Jesus. Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But I have to go! I have to go. Just... Wait a second and listen. This is important. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Oh, man. Hey, I got an achievement. Nice. Five minutes in and we're going good. 
All right, tell me I've got a moment here. Anyway, I, I've got to say uh, thank you, Draxy and Prey Life, for the subscriptions, guys. Appreciate that a lot. Hop on board the bear pile. That isn't going just <laughs> that timing. That was amazing, Prey Life. That was pretty fantastic. Um, that's gonna be hilarious, and I have to keep it that way for as we play this game because that's just wonderful and not anything I ever want to take away. I also want to say hello to everybody that just joined us. Welcome. We are playing the bear among us again. Because I like to insert myself into game titles, even though I had nothing to do with them. And uh, it is time for episode 3, man. Again, brand new episode of content just released today. If you're just joining us, this is going to be very, very spoilerific. Spoilers coming up. And apparently I also have to take this down and censor it, damn it, because they had to include those five frames of female frontal nudity, and I can't have that on YouTube. So that sucks, but oh well. Do what we gotta do. Time to meet up with beauty again. Or not beauty, rather, but snow. Here we go. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, oh, no. equal in strength to our morning. Oh man, loss. everybody already thinks I'm an asshole. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk further. about what you've all been so mm. grateful to share with me. Your Good memories look. of her. How she could be. I think we can wait for her to finish her patient, eulogy. Rash and thoughtful. I'll miss worrying she carried about a you. torch for the old I'll miss our fights. For tradition. I'll miss you. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, all, man. Seems how <laughs> oh, that was like the closest Bigby's going to get to a sentimental moment. Friends. Ruined by Ty Tan 11. Thank you, though, buddy, for doing that. Bad. Appreciate the support, Lily, my friend. Now you will never die from told. indifference or I lead a tedious life. That she would have liked My to sweetheart. Be Thanks and for now everything. We'll have our, um, Vivian. Moment of silence. Thank you. All right. I think she's nearly done. Oh, moment of silence. All right. We'll we'll read quietly off in the distance. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town, and I miss you already, Gran. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. I'm sorry, Holly. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was crazy. Hello, Kionet. Good to see you. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm just going to try to Holly, be, it's gonna be super okay. apologetic to Holly. That's my approach from now on. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. Yeah. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yeah, to rip Grendel's other arm off. Him. Why are you here anyway? To rip your you arm off. You care about this. Just got done explaining okay? that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't tell I this to I all know of them. Murdered your sister. Oh, that was probably a mistake. Whoops. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. Oh, that what? Was... No, I <laughs> that deserve was a to bad know. Play. I know, I I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. Yeah, I don't care yeah, about the way. I need to talk to Snow. If that was. Told, oh, that it's was. Me. It's us, right now. Oh, that so was a bad talk. Play. Yeah, who was it? I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her, it's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just going to sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. 
This is yeah, a badass yeah, response to that. Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. Oh, never mind. Be out of here soon. <laughs> See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? It's you! Uh, um, hmm. Higby? I think the straightforward answer is What's probably the best on? here. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. This is the We'd pretty get obvious choice out of here. Fable Town for messing all this up so badly. Yep, there you go. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's Oops, kind of sorry. distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Let's just stay quiet here. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I'd like to not share all of the crime scene information no. with just random passers-by. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Although she did give us the lead, I suppose, so she maybe deserved to know. We gotta maintain some kind of leverage as a... Oh, wait, wait, good wait, God. easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Badass. I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. It'll just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. I got a thing for ripping days. off limbs. I don't know if you guys want to do this. Crane. Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? You think I'm a scam, uh, baby? Speak your mind. Uh, Fastly now. Uh, what's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Cause it's not. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And shotguns. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? No deal, Settle Steve. down, settle down now. I'm not making any deal with you, so just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
What did I tell you? What did I say? Ollie? She did call this. Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. Darling? Darling, Grendel. You fucking freaks are not getting away with Damn, this. Damn, this is getting Ollie, intense already. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't let's have see, to Let's turn see how this pans out. Now. I'm curious. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, here we go. Holy! Jesus Christ. I got it, dumb. If he had two arms, he'd probably be okay here. Oh, we should probably take him out. Here we go. Oh, God, mash the Q button. He's aiming at snow, I'm pretty sure. Don't let him fire that weapon. There we go. Oh, shit. Ow. Did I lose? Nope, just got shot in the arm. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> that was... That was quite the start. I do love this sequence, though. I'm gonna let it play again. Best funeral ever. No kidding. Wow. Oh, man. Don't ever tell Telltale they don't know how to start an episode. Shit. Oh, that's right, he smashed the mirror. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Got ripped he is, damn. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. <laughs> God, Holly man. refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. That'll do it. Buckshot to the gut, you know. Give him some spring They'll water, be fine. they're fine. Just oh, remember what yeah, I said. That's all it is. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. <laughs> and uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Oh, they're friends. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Did he go behind the changing <laughs> so, station to put I on a shirt? Yes, that's the plan. Currently. You sure that's just but what happened? I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean... This is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? I'm because pretty sure he just, killed Lily. It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is faith. 
Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Yeah, it kind of went pretty terribly. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Kind of already did. It's Boom. Kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Well, obviously I want to hear what it is. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Makes for a great game. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, play a game. Stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? He can be pretty we goddamn scary when he's mad. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh. It's not here. Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. Oh, he God. had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. Buffkin with the attitude. I know never that mind that. Come help me look. Oh, man. I feel like Buffkin has a much larger role than they're initially leading on to. It's, just, it's certainly, I mean, it's alluding to that possibility, but it's certainly not being obvious about it. Hello, Pits. Thank you for coming out. So, uh, apparently Twitch is having some issues today. Uh, I'll, I'll give a brief summary. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. Uh, funeral, literally shots were fired. A couple dudes got shot with shotguns by Tweedles. And, uh, we're back in here with... Well, apparently, I'm learning this now, the magic mirror is just like the fables themselves. Uh, by which I mean it can recover from seemingly catastrophic injury without too much trouble, in fact. I guess Holly being shot in the gut with a freaking shotgun. Just nothing the gin and tonic can't heal up, so not too worried about them, I guess. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Huh? Right. Worthwhile. Wonder where Ichabod Crane went off to. Oh, hey, a key. That's useful. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Well, tell her then. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Indeed. Hello, try thy vice. We'll get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. 
Come on, let's keep looking. Oh man. Yeah, exactly, Desert Eagle. I'm pretty sure the mirror itself is alive, so that's uh that explains how it's able to actually, you know, like physically regenerate like that, which is pretty cool. And yeah, yeah, he did indeed take a buckshot to the arm himself, so we're seeing uh quite a bit of physical evidence. Well, I mean, like it it was made pretty clear early on that the fables are pretty much immortal unless horrifying things like having their head chopped off happens. Mr. Green, you said you'd pay after that. You said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in front of the door. And guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. That's for Mr. Toad. We know Mr. Toad. Hmm. Mr. Ichabod Grit, I'm writing to ask again that you please send one, someone to fix the air conditioning and blah, 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 blah. This is just kind of trivial stuff, but it may, uh, may lead to a pattern of some kind. I was just a fan in the meantime. That's by Boy Blue. Third letter. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I've seen some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy. But I think this should be made a priority. Wayland Smith. Hmm. Did Crane ever do any work? Hello, Phil. Only when Cole was around. <laughs> oh god. Probably locked. Yep, that's why I suspected. <coughs> Look how strong I am. Look how goddamn muscular my wrists are. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention oh, this before? Sorry, no one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. Uh, tonight. I like Buffkin. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, hey, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Well, what Define help can you provide, help. then? What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. We can trust Snow. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then. Snow noticed that. for having the Commonwealth in mind. Hello, friendly. Welcome. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us 
A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Yeah, that why can't they get a ball? It's not like one of them's gonna chances disappear. Have to swing by both anyway, so. No, chances are you won't have time. Oh, come on. I don't really care what you Come do. on, don't let him I'm remember going that. To his what? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest. All right, and let's now pin it's him a down. crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Nice alliteration, no, you this asshole. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I'm pretty sure he heard that. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh god. Tough decisions. Find the witch. Oh man. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Holy cow. All right. Uh, please cool it with the caps in the chat, by the way, guys. Um, Crane obviously is a uh, valid choice here. I'm very, very curious to find out what the Tweedles know about all this crap. Holly's bar is probably, like, third place among my options. Although I'm trying to repair a relationship with her, so maybe that'll help me out instead of sending Bluebeard here away. Oh, man. I'm gonna go to Crane's apartment. I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to Crane's apartment. Let's go to Crane's apartment. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. The clock is literally ticking, it is indeed. Get the fat people! West Cheddarville, how's it going? Nineteen oh four, let's do it. Oh man. I totally just tried to press W to move my character like I was playing some kind of goddamn action game. Ridiculous. Who's is this? You said Crane lives in 1903. Oh, I thought she said 1904. Maybe she said 1984. Where am I going then? Hello? What are my options? Can I... Hello? Oh, I can move. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Oh, God. What is wrong with me? This is Briar Rose's place. Why did he cut it off so quickly? Friar Rose. Who is this? Can't quite see. It was like Threshbeard or something like that. Alright. Let's have a look. Hold on. Kind of want to check this out. Why didn't it move earlier? It's weird. Alright. Anyway. Moving on. Not really anything else in this hallway that I can see. 
Let's have a let's peek in real quick just Why to make sure. Door open? Uh, hello. Anyone in there? If you are, I wish you would respond to me instead of plotting to hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan as soon as I walk through this doorway. Crane? Oh, there's a clock now. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. I'm telling you, man, if I ever became the director of operations of an entire city, the first thing I would do is get a bust of my own head for my living space. It's like priority number one. Oh, on top of the painting of myself. There we go. Narcissism for days! I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Hello, Dak. The uh, rest of the schedule tonight Math, probably gonna end uh, for about history. an hour of Wolf Among Us and then finish off with some Spelunky tonight. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I got him! Oh man, shots fired. Everybody tweet at Ichabod Crane. You probably aren't happy with your romantic interests. Same brand we found in the open arms. Let's just ruin the guy. He's a murderer. Who cares? No sympathy. What else we got in here? Can't see anything that way. Nothing up in the roof. He owns the Kama Sutra, yes indeed he does. Uh, ooh, answering machine, that'll be useful. Let's look at it before we hit the play There's button. Message. Good, alright, I'm glad I figured that out. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Who confiscated the money, obviously. I'm gonna start buying drinks later, man. Can't be caught without cash again. That was embarrassing as hell. Here's Snow. I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. God. Wow. Ooh, hello. Might be useful. Might be useful, he says, alluding to later on in the episode. This hasn't been used in years. God, he used to teach in the old days. Man, I thought Jeremy was the name of the witch. Old school chums. We've been the most. Oh man, look at that. That is pretty. It's kind of cool to have a rain effect in a cell shaded game like this that really looks something like it. It looks like it's a scene taken out of Sin City when we're looking at it like this. Gotta love this art style, man. Obsessive romantic. That's not like an evil villain at all. <laughs> oh, sir. Oh, man. It's, but that that writing, that that particular uh, line there, I like that. Because that, that delivery combined with the uh, impact it has based on the character development is really strong. Like, and I, I actually got mad about it. It's pretty damn good. Alright. Looks like we may be done in here. Just doing a quick once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything of... Oh, hold on. Is that the same key? I guess I can't use it here. Alright, well... No, this isn't a jump scare game. This is just an adventure game. Yeah, nothing... Nothing frightening here. Okay, keep walking around, buddy. What did we miss? The head bust. That's what we need to check out. Really? That's what I said. Uh, nothing here, nothing there, nothing, nothing everywhere. Okay. 
Ooh, there we go. Oh, going somewhere? Going somewhere? <gasps> well, I, I, uh, Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. How bizarre, Jack. This weather, right? Let's have a drink. A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. Out it's the window. Stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh, God. Come on, Jack. Don't be like that. Okay! Making me click things. You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. What was Jack transformed into? Like a little town. boy? I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Eh, let's just get right Hooding to the point. Anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What are you getting at? You're in his house. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Piss off. Alright? <laughs> is this really fucking necessary? <sighs> oh. <laughs> well, that makes me look strong. Why do you, you know, use your broken this arm, tortured, man? tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. You dick. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I doubt it. Somehow I doubt it. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Yeah, no, I just I'm did tell stupid. you that. Big B. Wolf You're comes in stupid. here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. What the hell did that if sentence even mean? Information Why is that not an option? Though, what the fuck did you I'm just sure say? You that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Oh, punch him. Come on, what do you say? Uh, fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for. But if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. You know how strong that arm is, is, I just showed you. I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Darn it, I got caught again. I'm such a screw-up. Glamour- oh, snap. My dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. Have you heard my voice? It's elegant the and beautiful. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. 
I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. I it's do a fish. pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. <clears throat> Don't believe that. You want to try that again? That it? Pick me? Ah, damn it, he had more. Come on. Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? I'm gonna do my best to White? place Maybe full evening. trust in What's Snow. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Green. See, I kept my deal with Jack. Green. There we go. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> Do you think this is tied to the money? Nice. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Mm -hmm. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And Bluebeard's there. And we there. know that's where Bluebeard went. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Oh, it sounds like we're only going to have one option here. Alright, well, Trip Trap was my number three, so let's head over to Dean Dumb's office. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. Hello, I'll Pedro and Crocodile. And Welcome. I hope you find something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Well, there goes White's trust in me. Snow's, I guess. Snow White. You know I'm dying enough. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Uh. What uh, brings you here? All right. Are you okay? Your face. Uh... Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was a big old schnoz on you, bud. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. Where'd he go? You know where he went? No. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after. I'm really sorry, Big B. Oh, this is like the first genuinely nice guy I've run into. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, Oh, just terrible things. Oh, off brand was, hot dogs. I didn't send him here. <laughs> did the right thing. Okay. Yes. Good. I like you. Oh, I like you fired. too, off brand hot dogs. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice. I want him I want him on board with us. There's Off no brand hot dogs, thank you very much for the though. subscription, by the way. Hop on that bear well, platform. Crane is gone now. I I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? 
Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Okay, don't secretly be a dick. Please. Shaggy just needs a hug, he does. Poor guy. Man, I I'm I'm he's so endearing now. I, I've run into the one person I actually like in this story thus far. You know, apart from Buffkin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Open up. <sighs> oh, you Read dumbass. Use your other shoulder, come on. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. We're friends. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Get back to jail. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the I missus I don't care about later. the woodsman anymore. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some oh, he hospitality, is, right? He is freaking right? plastered, man. I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Do they just have super-powered livers, too, I wonder? So he's gonna become, like, upright sober in a matter of moments here. Then beat the shit out of me. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? I think you might be good, Grant, man. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Pal? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. I don't care about Grant. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but... You won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Oh, snap. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yeah, his kind of stone out of his mind right now. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm kind Have of regretting the choice I made just now. What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. I can't tell if you have another right. eye or not. Alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds, as a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I don't, I don't want to take a drink, time, man. Grin. Grin. 
Gran, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh, come on, you just said you were too high to do anything. Some figure it out. Lest you forget, we hated the woodsman in episode what one. What more so, do you no. want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat badass move coming. Ass used to be. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh, God. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Jesus you know Christ. What? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. Where you go after my armless you side, you this jerk. Fucking loser, Sheriff. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? I gotta find out this information, so man. Lily. Did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Well, there we go. That was easy. Why can't all the interactions be like that? Then we just have a pleasant time trying to figure out who the serial right. killer is. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the <laughs> it's quite the polarization of options Maybe, there. Uh, ogres too. I think just stay quiet there. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. McCrin won't remember this. <laughs> oh, that is a that is a wonderful notification. Okay. Oh, man. Well. Remember how I told you I was gonna leave you on a huge cliffhanger and be a douche about it? Well, this is it. I'm sorry. I know. It's the worst. We gotta end here for today's episode of The Wolf Among Us, The Bear Among Us, if you will, if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching this section. We got more of episode three coming next week. God. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know, I know. We gotta switch over to the Smogs, man, so it'll be about time to do that here and now. The Bear Taffy Live Show gonna take a few minutes of ads to break, and we will be back with Spelunky, the Death Roulette, and the Daily Challenge, all kinds of good stuff on the way for you, live here on twitch.tv slash Bear Taffy. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.